What's up guys, welcome to the channel, it is OG Tech here, and in today's video, I'll show you how to optimize your Windows 10 PC and laptop for gaming performance in 2023. And these are the best settings to improve your FPS in games and lower input lag. Furthermore, these optimizations are not just for games this will speed up the overall responsiveness of the system. I've been testing these tweaks for months with no negative results. If you guys are happy with the results, please let me know in the comment section below. So let's get into the video. Let's start with basic window settings. Navigate down to the settings and click on display. In here go to the notifications and actions. Inside notifications, turn this off and uncheck these two boxes. Next, go to the focus assist and turn it off. Also turn off these automatic rules as well. Next, navigate to the multitasking and turn it off. Now navigate to the shared experiences and turn them all off. When you guys finished, return to the home page and move on to the personalization tab. Inside here, navigate to the colors and turn off the transparency effects. After that, go to the start tab and turn off the options that I have turned off. Now you can exit out of the personalization tab and navigate to the apps tab. Once you guys are inside the apps tab, scroll down this list and uninstall anything you no longer use. For example, I don't use this solitaire collection, so click on it and then click on uninstall. Also, make sure to you know what you're going to uninstall. Then, go to the offline maps and turn off everything inside of it. Plus I recommend pressing delete on all maps. After that, go to the apps for website tab and turn off these two options. Now navigate to the startup tab and turn off the startup apps that you don't want. You can also turn them off in the task manager as well. Once you've done that, go back to the window settings and navigate to the gaming tab. Inside of the Xbox game bar, turn this off. After that, go to the game mode and turn this on. Now go back to home and navigate to the privacy tab. In general, turn off all of these options. Once you've done that, go to the diagnostic and feedback tab and scroll down until you find the diagnostic data and turn it off. After that, navigate to the location and turn off all the options you have. Now go to the camera and turn off the apps that you don't want to connect to your camera. You can disable all of them by disabling the setting that allows apps to access your camera. Once you've done, scroll down on the left side until you find background apps and turn this off. Now we are done with our Windows settings. Let's move on to the next optimization. Now we are going to use a tool called CTT. Basically this is the best tool I have found so far, and I highly recommend using it. The tool is made by Chris Titus, so credit goes to him. First you need to open PowerShell as an administrator. Search for PowerShell in the Start menu, then right-click on it and run it as an admin. Now you need to type this command in your PowerShell. Also, I'll leave the command in the description. Once you type the command, press enter, and then the CTT tool will open up. First, you need to install these Microsoft tools. .NET and Visual C++ are really helpful with your games and programs. Simply check the boxes and click Start Install. For the installation process will take some time. You will get a PowerShell pop-up like this. If you see a message like failed to attempt, don't worry. The tools will still be installed one at a time. When it's done installing, you'll get a message from the CTT that you installed programs on. All of the installation work has now been completed. Let's move on to the following tab tweaks. Inside of here, you will see a recommended section for desktop, laptop, and minimal. Choose the option that you are currently using. For example, now I'm on a laptop, so I choose the laptop option. I also want to get rid of Cortana and Microsoft Edge, because I no longer use them. After that simply click on Run Tweaks. In PowerShell, you can see how well our tweaks are applying to the PC. When it's finished, it will indicate that the tweaks are finished. Now you need to restart your system for the changes to take effect. But before restarting, I'll show you in my task manager how many processes are currently running on my PC. This is the result after restarting the computer. The number of processes has dropped from over 166 to 86. For the next optimization, 
we are going to disable the high precision event timer. HPT is a fast processing method for time critical applications. When gaming, this tool will take away the precious calculation power of CPUs. Therefore, it is better to be disabled. First right click on the Windows icon and open the Device Manager. In Device Manager, expand the System Device section. Inside of it, you can see the high precision event timer. Simply right click on it and click on Disable. And click Yes. After that restart your PC. If you want to re-enable HPET, you can enable it the same way we disable it. Moving on to the next optimization. Right click on this PC icon and go to the properties. In here navigate to the advanced system settings. Click settings on the performance section. In the visual effects tab, click adjust for the best performance. Under that, check the box for smooth edges of screen fonts, as well as show thumbnails instead of icons. After you've done that, click apply, and then click OK. Now we are going to optimize our boot options. Go to the Windows search and type system configuration. Now click on the boot at the top, and then go to the advanced options. Check this box, go to the drop down menu and select the highest number in there, and click OK. Also check the no GUI boot option. Click apply, and click OK, and then restart your PC. For your next optimization, you need to download my optimization pack from the link given below in the description. After you download it, extract the file using 7-zip or WinRAR, and go to the file. Starting with the first folder, make sure to create a restore point. Highlight your C drive and click configure. In here, turn on the system protection and set max usage to 5%. Click apply and click OK. Now again, highlight the C drive and click create. And then name the restore point to whatever you want. And then click create. And when it's finished, click close. And now we have a system restore point. You can use this restore point to revert the adjustments if you want. Now we are going to apply our registry tweaks. If you want to know what this does, right click on it and click edit. On top of that, I've explained how this affects our PC and what it does. I've mentioned this on every tweak, so you guys don't have to worry about it. Double click on a registry file, click yes, and then click OK. You have to repeat this for every single registry file. Before attempting to use the disable power saving registry file, you should be aware that doing this on laptops will reduce battery life. I have clearly described it in the registry file, so please do read it. For desktop, this is totally fine to disable. Since I use a laptop, I won't be using this tweak because I don't want to drastically reduce the life of my battery. Continue with other registry tweaks. Now we are done with our registry editor. Let's move on to the second folder, which contains batch files. In here, right click on a batch file and run it as an administrator. After it's done, click any key to continue. Do the same thing with others as well. Log files are system information files, created by Windows and other applications to record notable system operations and errors for troubleshooting purposes. Deleting log files will save disk space on the hard drive and ensure that Windows can save new logs faster. If you guys see a message like access is denied, it means you are not the owner of the folder where you are attempting to run the command. You don't have to worry about it, it's totally fine. The next batch file simply deletes your useless temporary files. When it's done, click any key to continue. In order to delete the Windows Update cache, it will first disable Windows Update so it can delete them. When it's done, click any key to continue. Now double click or run the disk cleanup as administrator. Select the C drive and click OK. In here simply check anything that you don't need. Before you clear them, keep this in mind, do not clean up the Windows update. Doing this will corrupt your system and you will need to reinstall Windows again. After you've checked everything, click OK and click Delete Files. It will take 1 to 2 minutes to clean up. So that's it for the video guys. I hope you enjoy the video. Make sure to subscribe, like, and leave a comment in the comment section. 
See you guys in the next video.